Well, I am extremely happy to be part of this festival. I've known uh, Mariusz, one of the kind of uh, organizers and creators of this for several years. We've always been in touch through the website gamemusic.pl, who's, they've, uh, that site in general has written a lot about my music over the years and reviews and, and interviews and things like that. And so we've been aware of each other. And then last year, I was at the Krakow Film Music Festival in, uh, in May 2018. And we got to talk in person after all these years of emails. And he told me about you know, Game Music Fest and what was coming. And, and we just stayed in touch. And then maybe sometime last year, he said, you want to come and perform your music? And I said, oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Forum is, is beautiful. <laughs> I mean, you always feel very lucky. You spend all this time in the rehearsal and you kind of get used to it. And then you walk in and it's this huge space and you think, oh, wow, we can, we can really do this now. I just kind of got used to the, the claustrophobia of the rehearsal and thinking, OK, this will be good. Um, and then, yeah, it's a just joy to uh, come into a room that's, it doesn't just sound good, it actually looks beautiful. It's a beautiful space, this whole, even the lobby is exciting, so yeah, no complaints. It can be very challenging uh, because that music is designed to not just be non-linear and interactive and all of those things, but it's designed to be a part of an experience where that experience is probably what the player is focused on the most. So, you know, especially if it's a really hard game or, you know, like I did some music from my uh, franchise called The Banner Saga. Well, there's a tactical strategy element to those games where you're trying to win a battle. You're trying to figure out how to move the pieces of your characters and learn the right way to defeat the enemy. And so when I'm playing all this music and it's full of glory and thunder, I can't forget the fact that the main thing the player is focused on is how to win the battle. They're not sitting there going, ooh, I really love this music and I guess I'll do a little bit here and there. And so when you go to put it up on stage, it's very easy to put music that's not actually as interesting as you think it is because it was designed to go along with thinking how to win the battle. Well, when you get rid of the, the battle, it's just the music. Very often the music is, is, is hollow, it's thin, because it's not designed to be alone. And so sometimes the solution is to compress it, or sometimes you kind of rewrite it to be simulating the full extent of the player's experience in a way that the original score doesn't need to, and in fact would be wrong to do, because I don't like overscoring. If the goal is to win the battle and I'm making so much noise with the music that it's distracting, I'm actually doing a bad job as a professional composer. So very often you don't need to put very much. Put it up on stage, now it's boring, you gotta build it back up again. So it, it, it can be a really hard process actually, and in some cases I basically rewrote the music from scratch, 
uh, knowing that the audience might not necessarily hear the difference, but, but I knew that if I did it verbatim from the game, everybody would be looking at their watches the whole time. Even if they, even if they, even if they love that music and they've got a vinyl and they want me to sign it and all that, they'd still be bored because it's not designed to hold your attention that way. And so it's a, it's a process. And even then during the rehearsals, I remember there was a big chunk that I said, you know what, I don't think this is working. And I cut it out and I told the musicians, we're gonna skip this whole part because I don't think it's working without the game. So even then, even at the very last second, I was making new discoveries about what works and what doesn't. I mean, it's always fun. I've, I've been lucky to work with orchestras all over the world and they always have kind of their own personality. And I especially love working with orchestras where I can tell a lot of the musicians are uh, recently students or maybe even currently students. Uh, especially when they're, they're as talented as this group was because they're not lacking in skill or, or basic technique, but they're still kind of young. A lot of orchestral musicians tend to get very cynical and jaded the older they get and they start to think things like, the only music I should be playing is Mozart and Brahms and Beethoven and, and you know, they have that right. But when you're working with groups that are slightly on the younger side, they still have a lot of that technique, but they want to experience the whole world, including video game music. And they will treat it with the same seriousness as Tchaikovsky and Beethoven and Stravinsky and Prokofiev and whomever else. And that to me is just, that's just so much fun. I, I love saying, let's try to make music with that integrity, but let's smile and, you know, with our hair and all that in the process and just recognize this is supposed to be fun. All music making is supposed to be fun, even if it is Tchaikovsky. But it's easier to treat that as serious in a way that, that video game music tends to not have. So, and I like that. It, it was a great, I love, there was a great orchestra. We had a blast, the rehearsals went very well. And uh, a concert, everyone seemed to be thrilled. So I'm very grateful.